Well, it had to happen eventually. Hello everyone, and welcome to SG Choice, the show where all the staff of Source Gaming come together and vote on a particular topic. We have a ton of these on our site, but finally we are bringing them to video. Of course, the first one we do has to be a video on Super Smash Bros. So we all came together and put down the 10 first party characters we think have a shot in Smash for Switch. Now we did have some rules. The character has to be owned by Nintendo, veterans are included in this, and this is not our personal wish lists, but the characters we collectively think are the most likely or deserving. That last point may cause some controversy, but we want to be as accurate as possible for all of you. We looked over the facts, we made our votes, and here are the results. So, without ado, let's jump into the top 10 first party Super Smash Bros. characters for Smash for Switch. Starting off this list strong, we have a fan favourite among the community, Dixie Kong. Everyone's favourite Kong, after all who didn't exclusively use her when available, is arguably one of the only few Nintendo All-Stars missing from the roster, and there is quite a demand for more DK characters, making her highly requested. She almost made it into Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so there is a possibility a moveset out there already exists for her. My only personal fear is that she might be too similar to Diddy Kong. Maybe that hair can really make a huge difference. Hopefully we can one day find out. Sometimes in Smash, a series is chosen first and then a character afterwards. This happened with Ike in Brawl and Greninja in Smash 4, so we gave our staff the option to just vote for a series instead. So, floating in at number 9 we have the Kirby series. A fourth Kirby character was a popular thought in Smash for Wii U, and considering how many games Kirby has had recently, mainly on 3DS, there is no way the pink puffball isn't on people's minds. The two characters with the most votes here were Susie and Waddle Dee, with Susie just pushing ahead. Girls in mechs seem to be a big fighting game trope, no? We have Mario, we have Dr. Mario, we have Green Mario, and even Evil Biker Mario. But one Mario we totally need is... Paper Mario. This incarnation of Nintendo's mascot is the star of his own series and the most popular choice for a Mario rep. With his entirely unique body, material and even identity, Paper Mario has the opportunity to have completely different stats and abilities. Plus, his mechanic of being paper could lead to an interesting moveset. Now you're thinking in two dimensions. Ah, our first veteran character. He was heavily requested for DLC, but we couldn't believe he was shot down. Yet, that demand almost certainly got him noticed, and so Wolf is certainly a possible candidate for returning. He wouldn't change much from his Brawl counterpart, but maybe an outfit based on Star Fox Zero would be possible? Or does that eye patch give everyone a handicap? Lousy depth perception. From one animal to another, we have arguably the character with the loudest fanbase. The big reptilian monster himself, leader of his own band of pirates, I am of course talking about... King K. Rool. We were almost certain his Mii Fighter costume was an indication of him doing well in the Smash Ballot, and those results may very well help a future character get in. We believe this Kremlin will finally get his day, and then the DK fanbase will finally feel vindicated. Uh, assuming we get Dixie as well, of course. Hailing from the land of the rising sun, this ancient action star will finally have his chance to cut loose when Takamaru steps into battle. Final member of the Famicom 4 and an assist trophy in Smash 4, Takamaru has a lot of evidence towards his inclusion. Not only does he fit as the game's retro pick, but Sakurai has considered him numerous times. The biggest reason for his exclusion was his lack of presence outside of Japan, but with Nintendo Land, Smash 4, and the release of his game on the 3DS Virtual Console, this is no longer an issue. Now if we could just get that Kamiya reboot we all dream of, and it will be a good day. Of course, we couldn't talk about retro reps without bringing up these guys. The Ice Climbers may as well be Smash characters at this point, and their exclusion from Smash 4 caused much upset. 
However, we know that they were only excluded because of 3DS limitations, and as it is unlikely that the Switch will have those same problems, I could easily see Sakurai bringing this frosty duo back from stasis once more. Fun fact! Every single Smash game has cut a Pokemon character and added a new one in its place. This isn't a surprise. Pokemon is such a big series, especially with how successful its 20th anniversary in 2016 became. But who is the best candidate? Well, for us over at Source Gaming, Decidueye is still the bird of choice. He was easily the most popular of the Alolan starters, and his base form is also Ash's Pokemon in the anime, just like Greninja was. He has a lot of different gimmicks that can be used like his archery skills, his grass moves, being a bird that actually acts like a bird instead of driving a tank. The possibilities are limitless. The latest major IP from Nintendo in an actual fighting game, ARMS may not have hit the same mass appeal as a certain other new IP, but it is definitely on the public conscious, and so is certainly on Sakurai's mind. The obvious pick for us was the Ryu of the series, Springman. His stretchy arms would give him a lot of range, and he could have a mechanic where after a certain amount of percentages reach, he powers up. An arms character is the perfect way to represent the Switch, and is highly relevant right now. We would be sucker punched if he fails to make the cut. Now, before we get to number one, and no points for guessing who it is, let's go over some of the honourable mentions. First we have Chibi Robo, the pseudo mascot of Skip, who's been surviving over the years. His series is one of the biggest emissions in Smash so far, but his unsecure future stops him from being a certainty. Next we have Isabel from Animal Crossing. The series is big enough to get another rep, but picking a moveset for her is the hard part. She's a bit like the series mascot now, so it's all down to Sakurai. A new Mi class is possible option, as it seems easy to implement. Maybe some kind of mage? It depends if updating the Mi fighters is a real priority for them. We had some other series like Kirby which could see possible reps, but we just couldn't decide on who. Specifically, this goes to Zelda, Xenoblade, and Fire Emblem. Let's just hope they're not sword users. Finally, we did an extra poll on the side to see if we thought Alf should get his own spot or stay a costume, and the majority went to his own slot. So, make way for more clones, we know you love them, admit it. Now on to number one. In a move that surprises no one, the Inklings were our number one choice for Smash for Switch. Splatoon is a mega hit, and one of Nintendo's current all-star series, representing the dawn of a new era for the gaming juggernaut. The Inklings have a ton of moveset potential with the various weapons and sub-weapons available, and they don't clash with any characters currently available. I would argue they are popular enough that they don't even need a unique gimmick to get in, although Sakurai may try to give them one anyway if possible. This one is a lock for sure, no doubt from us. And that does it for our top 10. I'm sorry to fans of characters who didn't make the list, but you know, Smash speculation is wild and unpredictable. Who knows how much impact the ballot would have on the next game. Heck, maybe it will decide the whole roster. We'll just have to wait and see. For now, why don't you let us know who your top 10 Nintendo stars are? Do you agree with this list, or would you change some things? If you agree with us, or even if you disagree, but I know it's a harder sell, then show us by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We have a third party version of this list coming soon, so look forward to it. Remember to always come back to the source, and I will catch you all next time.